Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. While watching these videos, please keep something to write with and your classwork books nearby. This will make it easier for you to take notes, write down interesting thoughts, and therefore have a better lesson. And perhaps, most importantly, all the classes have been indefinitely suspended. Learning never stops. Let's rock. Questions, 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 comprehension questions. Number one, what do diurnal animals do? You can choose one answer only. Option one, they are active at night and asleep in the day. Option two, they are active during the day and asleep at night. Option three, they are active during the day and at night. What do diurnal animals do? Please choose one. Okay, time's up. The answer is option two. They are active during the day and asleep at night. Hmm, does that sound like anyone? Maybe it's like all of us, I hope. We are all active during the day and asleep at night. Therefore, generally speaking, humans are diurnal animals. The next question, question number two. Name three places nocturnal animals can be found in the UK. For this question, you don't have any options. However, all of the answers were in the reading passage. If you can't remember, you can check your notes or you can go back to the previous videos to see what you can find. Okay, time's up. Well, any three from the following would be okay. Woodlands, towns, fields, parks. However, I have another question. What about in Hong Kong? Do you know anywhere that nocturnal animals can be found in Hong Kong? Would you like to know? Well, perhaps you can check some stuff online, do some research. Okay, I think question number three. If you have watched a few of my videos, you really should be able to get this one right. Because we've, we have encountered this word so many times. Question three. What word is used to describe the environment an animal lives in. Again, I will not provide you with any options and you need to write or say your answer. Time's up. The magic word is habitat. What word is used to describe the environment an animal lives in? Habitat, habitat, habitat. Okay, we looked at all of these words before. And I may have used slightly different language, but the meanings are the same, and if your English is good enough, you should be able to get them. So, question number four. Draw a line to match the word to its meaning. First, let's read all the words in the column on the left side. Navigate. Adapt. Predator. And now, let's read the words in the column on the right become adjusted to certain conditions guide or stare someone or something an animal that preys on others if you need to just pause the video and when you're ready you can continue time's up navigate means to guide or stare someone or something adapt means to become adjusted to certain conditions. Predator, an animal that preys on other animals. Question number five. In your own words, what does the word nocturnal mean? Here, what you need to do is you can write down your answer in your class workbook. Since I would also like you to practice speaking, 
Instead of writing, if you want, you can say the answer out loud. Even though I can't hear you, I think it's still a good thing to do. It's a good habit. Anyway, time's up. In your own words, what does the word nocturnal mean? Well, there are many ways that you can answer this question. What your answer should include is that it should relate to animals being active and awake at night and then sleeping or resting during the day. Basically, it should, it should be the opposite of what you usually do. And finally, question number six. Do you think it is important to protect the habitats of endangered animals? Why? Okay, again, you can either write your answer in your class workbook or you can try to say it out loud and practice speaking even though you're at home and I'm not there to listen to you and I can't answer anything that you say. And for this one, well, your answer is your answer. So it's either yes or no you think it's important to protect the habitats of endangered animals. And then if you said yes, you can say, why did you say yes? If you said no, then no problem. You can also say why you said no. Defend your answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and I hope you learned something. Remember, we don't have face-to-face -face classes these days, but learning never stops. Take care and see you next time. Goodbye!